चेडिस बूस्टर नाइनटीन नाइनटीन असिची टीम विद लाइफ a busting pot in the vibrant community but beneath the surface a dark secret log a sticky secret waiting to erupt what a seemingly ordinary day a wave of care swept through the heart of boston no wave of water but a wave of something far more unexpected something for us take here deep molasses what yes You had that right. Molasses, the dark sweet savor, was used for baking and brewing. But in 1919, it wasn't just in our kitchen and bakeries. It was unleashed in a colossal wave, engulfing entire streets in a streaky nightmare. Imagine the scene: a defining door, the ground trembling, a massive metal tank. Towering over the city, gives way. Millions of gallons of molasses, thick and viscous, surge through the streets like a dark and streaky tsunami. This was a your average molasses spill. This was a disaster of epic proportions. A sticky situation that claimed lives, injured hundreds, and left a lasting mark on the city. But how did this happen? It all boils down to a series of unfortunate events and a fatal flu. The tank, built just a few years prior, was designed to hold massive quantities of molasses. However, it was hastily constructed using thin steel plates and flawed welding techniques. Additionally, the summer of 1919 was unusually Warm, causing the molasses to expand and put immense pressure on the tank's already weak walls. One tragedy struck. It struck Pastor Furious. The weakened tank simply couldn't hold back the pressure any longer. It was unleashing a torrent of molasses that flowed with the force of a raging river. Houses were swept off their foundations. Businesses were flooded. And people were trapped in the sticky sludge, the wave reaching up to 20 feet high in some areas, moved at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. The aftermath was a scene of utter chaos. People were covered head to toe in molasses, struggling to breathe and move. The streets were transformed into streaky hazard doors. That's caps, leaving the cleanup effort a hard clean toss. Five waters and blind tears covered in molasses themselves worked tirelessly for weeks to clear the streets and buildings. The cleanup effort cost millions of dollars, and the economic impact on the city was significant. But the impact wasn't just economic. The flu left a lasting emotional scar on the city. Many families lost loved ones, and the trauma of being trapped in the sticky wave haunted survivors for years to come. Even today, a wild century later, the Great Molasses Flow remains a unique and unforgettable event in Boston history. It serves as a reminder of the unexpected danger that can lurk in our everyday lives and the importance of safety and proper construction and practice.